يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Indeed, all praise is for Allah. We praise Him and we seek His assistance and we seek forgiveness from Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil within ourselves and our evil actions. Whomsoever Allah guides then none can misguide and whomsoever Allah misguides then none can guide I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone having no partner and I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is his slave and his messenger my dear brothers and sisters in islam with ramadan fast approaching it is quite important and it is urgent to remind ourselves about the importance of this holy month how to prepare for it and to shed light on some relevant rules my dear brothers and sisters in islam many of us misunderstand or misconceive the true nature of fasting so there is a misconception about the true nature of fasting some of us make it an occasion for eating and drinking making special sweets and staying up late at night and watching shows and series on tv some of us make preparations for that long before ramadan By doing so, we miss out on some important spiritual aspects of this holy month. As part of those preparations, some of us start buying food stocking food preparing drinks and looking at the satellite tv guide so that we don't miss on our favorite uh, series and shows Some of us are truly unaware of the real nature of fasting in Ramadan by taking worship and piety out of the month and make it just for bellies and eyes. However, others are aware of the real nature of fasting in the month of ramadan 
So they start to prepare for Ramadan from Sha'ban, from now. And some of them even start before that. Having said so, among the best ways of preparing for the month of Ramadan are first and foremost, sincere repentance. Of course, repentance is obligatory at all times. But because of the approach of a great and blessed month, it is even more important and urgent to hasten to repent from sins between you and your Lord, and between you and other people, by giving them their rights so that when the blessed month begins, you may preoccupy yourself with acts of worship with a clean heart and peace of mind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ and all of you beg Allah to forgive you all, all believers, that you may that may that you may be successful. This is in Surah Nur. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, repentance or tawbah refers to asking repentance from Allah for the sins that we commit because we are all sinners. Making sincere repentance or tawbah raises a Muslim stature with Allah because the process of making tawbah involves the following three steps. First and, and foremost, recognizing one's mistakes and sins and asking for forgiveness. Two, feeling ashamed of violating Allah's trust of complete submission to his commands because the moment you call yourself a Muslim, you have agreed to submit yourself entirely to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you disobey Allah, it entails that you have violated Allah's, Allah's trust of complete submission so you have to feel regretful and ashamed of violating that trust not only that but you quit performing the act of disobedience third you have to make a promise never to repeat such behavior, never to repeat such disobedience. According to many scholars, if one of these three is missing, then the repentance is not sincere. If the sin has to do with the rights of another person, then the fourth condition is added, which is to restore the rights of the person. For example, if violating of rights involves money or property, etc., 
it must be returned to them if it had to do with slandering them etc then their forgiveness must be asked and so on We all know both from Quran and Hadith that Allah gets very pleased when we leave all that is undesirable to Allah and revert to the straight path. The Prophet said in a Hadith, Every son of Adam sins, and the best of those who sin are those who repent. كل ابن آدم خطاء وخير الخطائين التوابون. Narrated by al-Tirmidhi and graded as Hassan by al-Albani. As a matter of fact, repentance or tawba has many merits. Tawba or repentance paves the way for success. The moment we sincerely repent, we can be assured of Allah's help in ourselves that in turn is a precursor to success in this life and the hereafter. Allah tells us in the Quran, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ And beg Allah for Forgiveness O oh, beg Allah to forgive you all, O oh, believers, that you may be successful. Surah al Nur, verse 31. Repentance, therefore, paves the way for Allah's grace in this life and the hereafter within this world. Allah promises us of wealth, children, and increased blessings. Consider the following verses from the Quran. وَأَنِ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ يُمَتِّعُكُمْ مَتَاعًا حَسَنًا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى وَيُؤْتِ كُلَّ ذِي فَضْلٍ فَضْلَةٍ وَإِن تَوَلَّوْ فَإِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ كَبِيرٍ Seek the forgiveness of your Lord and turn to him in repentance that he may grant you good enjoyment for a term appointed and bestow his abounding grace to every owner of grace. But if you turn away, then I fear for you the torment of a great day, i.e. the day of resurrection. So to hood, verse 3. Allah also tells us in the Quran that Prophet Hud told his people, "Waya qom istaghfiru Rabbakum, thumma tubu ilay, yursil al-sama alaykum midrara, wa yizidkum quwatan ila quwatikum, wa la tatawallu mujrimin." And O my my people, ask for forgiveness of your Lord and then repent to Him. He will send you from the sky abundant rain and add strength to strength. So do not turn away as mujrimun, criminals or evildoers. Tawbah also keeps us away from hardship and trials. We know that our sins can haunt us in this life and the hereafter. The more sins we commit, the more we could be de deprived of Allah's blessings. We could be deprived of Allah's blessings and the more trials and challenges we could be put through. Repentance therefore can provide us a way out of our miseries and troubles. Of this life, Allah tells us in the Quran, "Awala yaroon anna wifdanun fi kulli amin maratan aw maratain, thumma la yatubun walahum yadzakkarun." See they not that they are put 
in trial once or twice every year for example with different kinds of calamities disease famine etc yet they toll not in repentance nor do they learn a lesson from it my brothers and sisters in islam toba helps us clear our conscience we know that sins are always associated with an accompanying sense of guilt that gets lodged into our hearts while we can always turn a blind eye to those guilty feelings we know from experience that such guilt is re responsible to slowly chip away at our happiness toba on the other hand by its very nature removes the guilt and fills our heart with happiness above all my brothers and sisters toba uh, pleases allah just like we mentioned before so let's remind ourselves that turning to allah in repentance greatly pleases him because it is one of the most beloved acts of worship to him by joining the rank of those who repent we also earn allah's love allah says in the quran inna allah yuhibbu tawabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin truly allah loves those who turn unto him in repentance and loves those who purify themselves so as part of uh, preparations for this holy month of ramadan it was uh, narrated from some of the salaf the early generations that they used to pray to allah for six months that they would live until ramadan then they would pray for five months afterwards that he would accept it from them so the muslim should ask allah to let them live until ramadan with a strong religious commitment and good physical health and they should ask him to help them obey him during the month of ramadan and ask him to accept the good deeds so it is important to supplicate to allah to pray to allah that you reach ramadan in good health so that you can worship in a desirable manner The arrival of Ramadan is one of the great blessings that Allah bestows upon his Muslim upon his Muslim slave because Ramadan is one of the occasions of good in which the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hell are closed it is the month of the Quran and decisive battles in the history of our religion Allah says قل قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما يجمعون In the bounty of Allah and in his mercy it means Islam and the Quran therein let them rejoice that is better than what the wealth they amass It was narrated by Abu Salma he said I heard Aisha may Allah be pleased with her say I would all fast from the previous Ramadan and I would not be able to make them ex except in Sha'ban so this means that one needs to discharge the duty of any outstanding obligatory fast so if you did not uh, fast some days of ramadan last year for one reason or another it is important to make it up 
uh, before Ramadan is due. Uh, this is uh, quite important. As part of preparations for the for, for the holy month, one needs to seek knowledge in order to be able to follow the rulings on fasting and to understand the virtues of Ramadan. So that's why we are making these audios. We would uh, do our best to at least highlight some of the rulings so that when Ramadan is due, you no know, one knows you know how to handle handle different situations. And it is also important to hasten to complete any tasks that may distract the Muslim from doing acts of worship. Um, also, you can prepare for Ramadan by fasting some of the month of Sha'ban. It was narrated that Aisha radiallahu anha said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast until we said he will not break his fast and he used not to fast until we said he will not fast and I never saw the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam complete a month of fasting except Ramadan and I never saw him fast more in any month than in Sha'ban reported by Bukhari and Aisha radiallahu anha قال كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يصوم حتى نقول لا يفطر ويفطر حتى نقول لا يصوم فما رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم استكمل الصيام شهر إلا رمضان وما رأيت أكثر الصيام منه في شعبان رواه البخاري ومسلم. So uh, this is uh, quite uh, significant that if you are able to uh, fast in Sha'ban, in Sha'ban, fast as much as you can in order to uh, prepare yourself uh, mentally and spiritually for the holy month of Ramadan. And uh, also try from now to read Quran as much as you can. When Sha'ban begins, try to uh, get this uh, mental preparedness. It is like a warm-up for Ramadan. When Sha'ban began, Amr bin Qais would close his shop and free his time for reading Quran. Abu Bakr al-Balkhi said, The month of Rajab is the month of planting. The month of Sha'ban is the month of irrigating the crops. And the month of Ramadan is the month of harvesting the crops. He also said, the likeliness of the month of Rajab is, the, is, is that of the wind. The likeliness of Sha'ban is that of the clouds. And the likely, likeliness of Ramadan is that of the rain. Whoever does not plant and sow in Rajab and does not irrigate in Sha'ban, how can he reap in Ramadan? Now Rajab has passed, so what will you do in Sha'ban if you are sick in Ramadan? This is how your Prophet and the early generations of the Ummah were in this blessed month. So what will you do? So this is a very important question. You know, we have to um, prepare ourselves for this uh, holy month. Just like we mentioned in the beginning, it is very important to start this month with a peace of mind, with a clean conscience, with a clean heart. You repent to Allah, you revert to Allah, and you regret the sins that you have committed.
Allah is always pleased when you repent to Him. Allah's doors are always open until like we die, you know. Before death, His doors are always open to you. You can always repent. And not only that, you know, you don't just say that I repent and you don't follow that with actions. You have to, you know, uh, focus on good deeds. You have to be remorseful, regretful, ashamed of this uh, uh, disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have to pledge that you will never uh, get back to those sins again. So Ramadan is a very great opportunity for that. You know, that you you kind of, you know, hold yourself accountable. So you have to see your records. What, what have you done uh, in these past 11 months before Ramadan? So if you do good deeds, you increase those deeds. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep you steadfast. And if you commit sins, you ask Allah for forgiveness and uh, you uh, pledged that you will never uh, re revert to those sins again. You will never commit them again. And just like we mentioned before, if uh, it has to do with uh, other people's rights, you know, you have to restore those rights. As part of preparing for Ramadan, you have to... Uh, um, uh, Start reading the Quran from now so that when Ramadan comes, you are already mentally prepared. And it is uh, very important to remind myself and the esteemed listeners that from now we uh, start uh, 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 fasting some of Sha'ban just like the Prophet used to do, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is important that uh, we, 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 we do that with the intention to get, you know, spiritually fit for, for, for Ramadan and to uh, seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, forgiveness and so on and so forth. And uh, also it is uh, important that, you know, we... We, 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 we have this intention that we want to change for the better. You know, we all cherish change for the better. But how many people do change? There are few. So if, if you want to change, here is the opportunity for you. you know, Ramadan is coming, you know. Get change in Ramadan. You know, so that's why we said in the beginning that Repentance is important, but it is more urgent before Ramadan. That, that so that you know when Ramadan starts, you already have this clear conscience, and uh, you, you have this focus and concentration. Don't make it a month of uh, eating, just like some people would do. And on the other hand, some people say, oh, Ramadan is a, an opportunity for me to lose weight. By the way, if that is your intention, there is no reward for you for fasting. So the, 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 the fundamental thing here is to observe fasting as uh, one of the pillars of Islam. And we'll come to that, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we talk about the rulings of Ramadan and uh, many, many other things that we will uh, deal with, inshallah, in our next um, uh, talk, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to reach Ramadan. Wa akhir da'wan, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Praise be to Allah, and peace be upon the master of the messengers, his family and companions. Wassalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته